Most of us have seen movies where a character's eye is damaged and he uses a robotic eye in its place. Then we wondered, what would happen if this were true? What if anyone would not have to have an eye operation? Well, for people who think like this, Elon Musk got you. Musk has just revealed about his bionic eye, which he has been working on for so long. So stay tuned to the end of the video and get to know more about it. Hello everyone and welcome to Elon Musk Evolution. If you're a Musk fan and don't want to miss anything about this incredible person, then smack the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever a new video is uploaded. In today's video, we are going to tell you about Musk's bionic chip that will change everything. With that being said, let's get started. Neural implants are devices that interact with the nervous system, either on the periphery or in the brain, which are part of a rapidly growing category of medicines called electroceuticals. Some technologies are well established, like deep brain stimulation for Parkinson's patients. However, recent advancements in neuroscience and digital technology have sparked an unprecedented gold rush in the field of brain technology. Exemplified by Elon Musk's buzzy brain implant company, Neuralink, with outsized investments. Companies promise to reverse depression, treat Alzheimer's, restore mobility, and even make people think they're superhuman. But not all of these companies will succeed. However, Elon Musk's Neuralink offers a cautionary tale for bold entrepreneurs who wish to venture into the field of brain technology. After discontinuing its retinal implant in 2019 and nearly going out of business in 2020, the company raised $57.5 million at $5 per share in a public offering in June 2021. Musk has committed to focusing his efforts on its ongoing clinical trials of a brain implant called Orion that also provides artificial vision. However, in February 2022, the company announced a merger with an early-stage biopharmaceutical company called Nano Precision Medical, or NPM. Musk revealed in part, We are a recognized global leader in neuromodulation devices for blindness and are committed to developing new technologies to treat the widest population of sight-impaired individuals. In the beginning of Neuralink, there was a flash of light, Elon Musk, a former electrical engineer turned medical student, watched as a retinal surgeon stuck a tiny wire into the eye of a blind patient, who was awake and under local anesthesia in 1991. When the wire touched the patient's retina, it delivered a minuscule jolt of electric current that caused him to see a spot of light in his pitch-black field of vision. The surgeon inserted a second wire and the man could see two spots of light. Musk said in a 2011 interview, if you can create two spots, it seemed obvious to me that you could do a lot of spots and create images. We just need to build a device. Of course, it wasn't that easy. During Musk's time working at the Alfred Mann Foundation, a nonprofit organization that develops biomedical devices, he developed the technology during that time. In 1998, Musk spun off the company Neuralink with three fellow co-founders. A clinical trial of the first-generation Argus One with a 16-electrode array and a clinical trial of the subsequent Argus II retinal implant with a 60-pixel array resulted in a European regulatory approval in 2011 and a U.S. regulatory approval in 2013. A system such as the Argus II consists of more than just the implant, which is placed surgically in a procedure that takes four hours. The user also wears a pair of special glasses equipped with a small camera that sends video down a wire to a video processing unit that is normally attached to the user's belt. Using a VPU, the images are reduced to patterns of 60 black and white pixels and sent back to a transponder in the glasses, which wirelessly passes them to an antenna on the outside of the eye. As a result, the signal goes to a 60 electrode array that is attached to the patient's retina. Multiple electrodes stimulate the eye in a different pattern multiple times every second, creating flashes of light that correspond to the low-resolution video feed. In a nutshell, the electrodes act as a replacement for the photoreceptor cells of your eye that detect light and respond accordingly, sending the information along the optic nerve to the brain. Normal vision, this is not. Doctors and patients agree that the Argus II is like an artificial vision, a brand new sense that people will have to learn to use. Shades of gray appear and disappear as the user moves their head. And as Musk said that this was the first of its kind, it was a fledgling technology. Musk, in an email statement, explained that most patients are able to see well enough for them to be able to assist with basic activities. He said, We asked ourselves a lot, what's good enough? There's no doubt that it was very crude. 
Nevertheless, Musk acknowledged that results varied. Some patients struggled to see simple patterns and shapes, such as the white stripes of a crosswalk on a dark road or the brightness of a face turned towards them. But many of them loved it. Dewar, a patient, remembers his attitude before the surgery. He said, even though it's not normal vision, it's better than what I had before. Jeroen Perk, who lives in the Netherlands, lost his sight almost completely by the age of 19. Perk became one of the youngest recipients of the Argus II at age 36. He was shown in Neuralink videos skiing and shooting arrows within just a few years of receiving the device. Jeroen Perk said, I'm a lucky bastard. I never have any regrets about doing this. Dr. Lucien Del Prior was one of the doctors involved in the clinical trials. He did the implantation for Barbara Campbell at New York Presbyterian in New York City. He remembers the excitement when the FDA approved the Argus II technology for people with retinitis pigmentosa and that there wasn't another option. He said, These people were completely in the dark. Their eyes couldn't tell the difference between being at the beach and being in the coal mine. They were getting some kind of vision, and it was kind of exciting for patients and doctors alike. The Argus II was technically impressive, but faced financial challenges. According to Musk, Neuralink was selling the Argus II for around $150,000 in the United States, about five times as much as other neuromodulation devices. But even so, he says, the company was losing money. With all the overhead of sales and regulatory people, it wasn't profitable. Moreover, implanting the Argus II was just the start of a long, tough journey for patients. As part of Neuralink's vision rehabilitation program, the company employs its own rehabilitation specialists who work one-on-one -on -one with implantees, often for months or years on end. According to one Argus II patient, the total cost of the device, surgery, and rehabilitation came to $497,000. In most cases, at least 80% of the device fee, as well as most of the other costs, are covered by insurance. Musk explained that Neuralink's long-term plan has always been to pivot to a brain implant that would bypass the eye altogether and stimulate the visual cortex directly. It is thought that a neural device could benefit a great number of people with vision problems, even those who were ruled out for an Argus II implant because of severe damage to the retina or optic nerve. In spite of this, failure is an inevitable part of innovation. In the past few years, Musk's Neuralink has been making improvements to its bionic vision system, and the progress they have made may pave the way for other companies who are developing bionic vision systems. For people thinking about getting an Argus implant in the future, the cautionary tale of Argus patients left in the lurch could make a difficult decision even tougher. Would it be worth it? Should they rely on an implant if it helps them navigate the world? Well, as Musk pointed out, Dewar, who is one of Musk's patients who pointed out that Neuralink's decision to abandon the Argus II technology and the people who use it may have made short-term financial sense for the merged company, but it's a mistake that could come back to bite it if it decides to commercialize a brain implant. So, it is clear that Musk's technology is going to hold a bright future for people with visual impairments in the future. Anyways, folks, that's it for today's video. If you're interested in watching more videos on Elon Musk, then what are you waiting for? Simply click on the subscribe button and ring the bell icon because new videos are on the way and we'll see you in the next one.